G'day folks and welcome back to Bex Basics. So it's October um, and here in the Southern Hemisphere it's time to be planting sweet potatoes. In, in some places in the Northern Hemisphere too, people are planting sweet potatoes as well. So I just wanted to talk to you today about how to actually go about doing that. You know, you've probably seen a lot of videos circulating at the moment about um, sticking a sweet potato in a glass with some, you know, toothpicks or skewers in it so that the, the bottom of it sits in some water and it sprouts and, and that'll work um, but um, what you end up with is a rotten piece of sweet potato on the bottom and some stuff growing out the top so um, I find that this is actually a better method to do it um, and it actually works more quickly as well so I've just got a little sweet potato here I had to laugh a minute ago I was just taking this out of my pocket and Ethan thought I was taking my phone out of my pocket and he was very surprised that out came a sweet potato out of my pocket instead of my phone so a bit of a laugh there but sweet little sweet potato here so um, you can see on this it's got lots of little little blackish sort of bits now that's all the areas where this can grow from so what we want to do is we want to plant that but you don't plant them the same as you plant potatoes right? you don't want to bury this completely in the ground because it'll probably just rot so what you want to do with the sweet potato is just get it some potting mix and just put it in the potting mix but only half halfway down so you just want to half bury it and then just bring the soil into the sides of it like that All right you don't want to cover it up completely you just want it half submerged and so then you can keep the bottom of that um, moist and what that what will happen is that that will actually start to grow um, some little what they call sets out of the top the little green leaves will come out the top um, but you, you don't need to grow just the whole sweet potato what you want to do is as those sets grow they'll be little bits and pe like lots of you know uh, runners and my mum used to call them runners they're actually technically called sets um, but they'll grow and if you leave that in the ground that will just run out and run around your garden and spread out and grow lots and lots of different sweet potato plants for you and you'll be able to grow your sweet potatoes but what you can also do is as they grow out you can once they start forming some roots you can snip them off and start planting them in different places around your garden as well so we'll keep you posted on how that goes um, but that's basically um, how you plant a sweet potato and how you get it growing from from just a sweet potato a little bit different to potatoes um, but we'll follow you we'll follow you along um, if you're going to grow sweet potatoes you have to make sure you've got plenty of room because they run everywhere they take up a lot of space more space than a lot of melons um, they will take up a lot of room but you will get lots of sweet potatoes out of them they'll grow under the ground like potatoes um, but um, you know you can either just leave it leave it in place this one sweet potato and it'll spread out and grow around your garden or you can snip it off and we'll, and we'll guide, you, guide you through that process um, as this one grows here's our little sweet potato um, last time this was just a little you know bump that was on top of the sweet potato you can see the sweet potato is just in there um, I've just given it some mulch just to keep the moisture in now that it's growing a little bit but you can see it's growing it took a little bit of time to sort of start um, growing but now it's growing quite rapidly so what happened what will happen is that these shoots here will grow quite long and they'll start um, forming little sections that'll have little roots on them and they're called slips and we'll be able to chop those off and, and plant them out but if uh, if you're following and uh, growing your own sweet potato um, this is the kind of thing that you can either expect or that you're already experiencing um, with regards to growing a sweet potato um, this is just starting it off so we can get our little plants you need lots and lots of room to grow sweet potatoes you can eat the leaves as well obviously we're not going to eat those yet because we want them to grow so we can plant them out plant the slips out um, but you need lots of room you can't grow them in a pot we're just starting it off in this pot and we'll plant them out um, so that we can actually get those bigger plants later on and get more of them and grow those those tubers So that's just an update on how the sweet potato is growing uh, We'll keep you posted on progress as it uh, gets bigger and, and gets ready to plant out So here it is now you can see the sweet potato down in there um, It's just um, half submerged in the potting mix with some mulch around it But uh, you've got all these shoots coming out from it um, Another big one growing here, but this big one here the one the original one stretches right along here you can so I'll put my gloves there just as um, some size context for you and um, you can see quite a big uh, runner going across there so what we want to start looking for now is some roots to do be uh, developing along this this runner so underneath here um, we want to be starting to see some some roots starting to develop so here 
you can see I'm not sure if you can see that just under there little white bits there they're just starting to if I pull that leaf back you might be able to see a bit better but just here you can start seeing some little white bits starting to grow they're going to develop into roots now those roots will go into the ground and that's what will form the sweet potatoes um, so we want those to be developing right along uh, at most of these little joints along the um, along the sweet potato um, because that's where uh, we'll actually get our little um, uh, sweet potato plants from we'll be able to separate these off into sets and plant them all individually um, along the um, in the ground uh, to grow our sweet potatoes so that's just an update on where we're at with our sweet potato at the moment um, waiting for the the um, roots to develop once the roots have developed then we can start separating them off um, and planting our sweet potatoes out so that's our update on the sweet potato thanks for joining us on Beck's basics and we'll see you next time